Uh, as I was saying that uh, you can do the work in seven days. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then you called one of your friends to do the work with you. So he told that he can do the work in five days. So first of all, tell me who is more efficient, A or B? B. B. Good. Now, secondly, uh, tell me now if you both do the same work together, you will take how many days approximately? Hmm? How many days will you take approximately? Two or three. So if I see that it's a kind of a quantum, the person can do in five days, you can do in seven days. So should uh, should you finish in less than five? Five between five and seven, seven or more than seven? Yeah, between five and seven. Between five and seven. But why five and seven? In that case, uh, you mean to say B is not doing any work? Because B, if he does the work alone, he finishes the work in five days. The work will get finished over here. Now you both are painting the work. Less than five. Less than five. Understood? Yes. So this thing is very important to understand, first of all, that if both A and B, so time, so important part over here is time is not additive. This is the most important thing. Okay. Time is not additive. What do I mean by that? A plus B is not equal to 7 plus 5 days. Understood? Yes. So, what do you mean by this? So, we have to convert the question in work. Okay. So work can be additive. So normally what we do, convert the question in work done in one day. Normally we do this thing. Okay? Yeah. Let me explain it to you. Please take a screenshot or copy this thing so that you can revise later on. Right. Good. Now, over here, coming back to this question, main question. Two women and five men can do the work in four days. Okay. Yeah. So, at the end, what do we need to find? At the end, we need to find time taken by Time taken by one woman alone to finish the work and time taken by one man to do the work alone. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some assumptions. Let. So let. Let time taken by one woman be X days. Understood? Is this thing clear? Yes. And let the time taken by one man be wide. Wide. So if I say therefore, how much time it will take? 
so first of all i will convert it into work therefore work done by one woman in one day always remember we will convert it into one work okay. remember yes no so how much time how much work they will do in one day can you tell me one upon x one upon x very good therefore work done by how many women are there women of two two women in one day in one day so if one woman is able to very good if one woman is able to do one upon x another woman is able to do one upon x it is two upon x make sense okay. yes because work done is additive as i told you time is not additive but work done is additive you can add or subtract time work so let me just give you this part yeah. similarly work done by one man is equal uh, in one day you have to write these statements yes what will be the answer one upon y therefore same thing four men equals to four, four, four. but five men sorry five men sorry sorry Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the work done. Now again, I'm highlighting this thing. Very important. This is the work done by two women. This is the work done by five men. Only in one day. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. And if you read the question carefully, they are saying in totality they are taking four days. Yeah, they are taking four days to complete the work, na? Over here, yeah. two women and five men can finish the work in four days. So I have to find out in four days. Now I will find out in four days. So two women in four days. How much work they will do? Two women. Two women. Two x multiplied by four. Very good. Two x multiplied by four. Eight by x. Okay. Understood. Yes, twenty. And uh, five men in four days. Twenty. Five into uh, four. Twenty. Why? Five. Okay, twenty. Now over here, in totality, this is the work done, finished work. How much is the work? How much? How much? काम कितना था? Yeah. Work is always one work. Remember. Okay. No matter how much is the work, we consider all the work as one work. One work. Therefore, four uh, two women did the work plus four men did the work, and in total they did one work. Is that thing clear? Now this is my first equation. Okay. Now if you pay close attention, let me just take you back a step back. What did I do over? See. Okay. This thing. Uh, this was two women. Yeah. Four days. So over here eight. Can you see that? 
क्वेश्चन For the second equation, what we will do? We will take three uh, women. Yes, three women. Divided by three, nine. So nine upon x. Let me change the color. And the left is again divisible. Nine upon x. Eighteen by plus. And uh, over here. Six men were there. Six into three. Eighteen upon y equals to one. Yes. Yeah. This becomes our second equation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you see so much of explanation was there? It's a work done type of question. Now, after doing this, framing the equation, you can go back. And uh, solve the way we did for three point six exercise remaining questions. Yes, yes sir. No? Yes, the people who are watching this video online, I will share the link in the description box. You can watch from there. So quickly take a screenshot of this thing and copy it in your notebook. Okay.